Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are a first time visitor, welcome and thank you. I'm going to share with you a couple of small purchases that I made. One is from the Dollar Tree. The other is from an Etsy shop called Perry Ann's Arts and Things. And actually there's going to be a third share, but it's going to be so super tiny. It's basically going to be a couple of washi rolls that I picked up from Target. So let's start with Target. Target does have washi tape, right? But it is pricey. I'm going to put that out there. It's pricey. Um, this is the Scotch brand washi tape, as you can see. And these particular rolls were $2.99 each. So essentially $3 per roll. I don't mind paying the three dollars. Um, it's a better quality tape. You do get um, enough of the tape to justify the three dollars spend. And I love the cute patterns. So I picked up the flamingo and I picked up the pineapples. So I was excited about that. Pick those up. Not that I would buy washi from there all the time, especially at that price, but I thought those were worth it. From Perry Ann's Arts and Things, I picked up some Dilution stamp sets. These stamp sets are 4 by 6 and each of them was $3.99, which is a pretty decent price. I picked up this one, which is called Anatomy of a Page. I love this size. I know a lot of these stamp sets are available in the much bigger size and I do mean substantially bigger size with also a bigger price tag attached to them. The price tag for the larger stamp sets are anywhere from you know $18 up to $23 depending on where you pick them up. The 4x6 for $3.99 to me is the better investment because the scale of these stamps, these smaller ones anyway, makes them a lot more versatile in terms of using them for ATCs, ICs, pocket letters, and cards. The bigger ones are awesome for art journaling or if you're into working on a much bigger canvas. But since a lot of what I do is on smaller canvas like ATCs, ICs, um, and my biggest art journal page right now book is I think 8.5 by 10. So it, those bigger ones would have been a lot more restrictive. So I decided to go with these smaller ones. And for the price, I'm okay with sticking to the smaller sets. So that was the anatomy of the page. This one is adorable with the dogs. I love the dogs. Puppy dog tails. How cute. I love this one. Here is, I think, Pigeon Among Birds or Bird Among Pigeons. Oh, I wasn't even close. Oh my God. Cat Among the Pigeons. So I totally hacked. Oops. Butchered that one. So here we go. Cat Among the Pigeons. That's pretty cool. Love this one. Here is uh, Plenty of Fish. In the sea, this one's a really odd one, <laughs> but I love it because it's odd. I picked it up. How could I not? For three ninety nine, they are some freaky looking little critters on that. And then this is a layering stamp by Hero Arts. It's called Octopus. I don't know why, but this stamp set spoke to me. For four dollars and fifty nine cents, I decided to pick it up. She also did send. Um, a freebie with purchase. This particular shop tends to do that because this is the third purchase I've made from this shop and each time they sent a little freebie. This time they sent these um, planner type stickers, mostly flags and arrows. Here's the other side. So I will be putting that in my giveaway box. Then from the Dollar Tree I picked up one of those in boxes, those storage cases that everyone is using to make embellishment boxes. I finally found some of those cute little topper pens that I've seen so many haul here. 
I picked up two of the flamingos. Here's a purple and a pink. They are so cute. And then three of the unicorn ones. Super cute. I picked up a blue, a pink, and a green. These are for my little girl's room. I have spent the last three days purging her room and upgrading all the furniture in her room and transitioning her into a big girl room. Oh gosh, guys. She has a birthday coming up. She's going to be 10. It's crazy. Double digits. 10. So I have been promising to upgrade her or transition her room so to speak um, I took some time off from work I just needed to take some time off from work just because mentally it's been exhausting and stressful and overwhelming so I have been off since July 4th so July 4th we celebrated July 5th 6th and 7th I spent purging and cleaning and upgrading her room she got a new bed she got new furniture just about everything in her room is brand new something we've been working up towards for a long long time so i'm finally i was finally able to do it i did it i'm so happy she's so happy um, one of the areas that we upgraded was her desk area she has a computer that her daddy gave her daddy got a new computer so baby girl got daddy's hand-me-down which daddy's hand-me-down is awesome amazing she has a better computer than most people have <laughs> um daddy's an architect and also does a lot of um 3d rendering so he his computers tend to be high up in that category so daddy upgraded she got a hand-me-down her hand-me-down's amazing so she's enjoying her room she has a little cup on her desk with all the little fun pens that she likes to have. She's into gel pens and um, doing art with her gel pens. So let me see, I'm gonna show you how cute. These are, this is something that she made for me. <laughs> this is mommy in cat form. <laughs> she is too cute. So she made that for me. Um, I absolutely adore it. I keep it by my craft. Um, desk. I plan to incorporate it in one of my journals, my art layouts, but she made that for mommy. She's a very artsy little girl. She's absolutely brilliant, super smart kid. And I don't say that just because my kid, she is my kid, but she really is a super bright, talented, awesome soul and truly a blessing. I tell you, she's my only one, but she's all I need. Um, so I decided to get these to add to her room. She's super excited about them. I already showed them to her. She really, really loved the unicorns. Then I picked up I know, I little feathers everywhere. <laughs> I picked up this stamp block set. Well, it's not a set. You only get one, right? It's a grid block. And the reason I purchased this one is the second one I'm buying. And I'm thinking I should have bought one more. There's certain stamps that I use all the time. Um, my channel stamp. Oh, this stuck together. Hello, my friends. And my address stamp. I use them so often that I don't even bother removing them from the block. I just leave them on the blocks. Um, but as you can see, the blocks that these are attached on, right now are my really awesome good blocks. So I would like to remove them from these good blocks and put them on less expensive blocks and go back to using this for my other stamping. So that's why uh, I have picked one up before. I picked up this one and I'm thinking I should have picked up a third since there are three stamps here. So just a little tip, you know, if you craft a lot and you're using the same stamp over and over and over again, instead of stopping, having to pull it, cling it just cling it onto something and leave it there permanently and put it to the side it's what I do with these three stamps I use these all the time so they pretty much stay on their block um, although now I'm going to move them onto a new block but and I keep them in a little dish see my little dish little dish <laughs> off to the side so that's why I picked these up I'm thinking I need to go back and get one more then I found these. I wasn't sure what these were. I So I only picked up the one. 
they had a couple of different styles but i wasn't sure if they were stickers or what i wasn't sure of the quality but i'm glad i picked up the one i don't know that i would go back and get more because you get plenty with the one but this one is called craft cream and gold and it's a, basically it's just a stack of paper 24 sheets uh three by four in size with different patterns on them and these patterns are in craft cream and gold so here you have the crafting gold in the back right different patterns and it looks like you get two of each the wood grain is really pretty look at that okay then you have the gold gold sheets right chevron cream and gold chevron here you have cream and gold of that floral cream and gold polka dots stripes and then you have the hearts in the front so the size is pretty good three by four is good especially for ATCs and pocket letters a uh, standard size ATC is two and a half by three and a half this is a standard size ATC and look plenty of paper to cover an ATC plenty of paper to cover an ATC with some room to spare so definitely can put it to good use but I don't know that I would get more than one in fact I know I'm not getting more than one this is the only one I'm gonna get because you do get 24 sheets and that's a lot and my new mantra is try not to get more than what you need or than you can use because at the end of the day I end up giving it away which is not a bad thing but um, in the meantime it takes up space in my craft room and I'm trying to purge a lot of what's going on in this craft room I found these shaker stickers and I love the theme these are all unicorns you have a unicorn it's all rainbows and unicorns just be magical here we have another unicorn a heart and a star they have tiny little shaker bits in them if you can see hopefully the glare is not too bad but it's like a little sequence shaker bit inside I got two sets so that I can have 12 stickers total. My girl scout troop next year. It looks like we're losing one of the girls. She's moving out of the district. It's kind of sad. She's she's one of the ones who's been with me since um since they were all five years old. So she's been with me whew, almost five years now. But she's moving out of the district and she's just you know aging out of Girl Scouts. She doesn't seem to be interested in it anymore. Which I totally get. Um, so it looks like my troop is going to be back down to 12. Let's see how that goes. Found some stickers which are really cute. Anything tea time or coffee related. Love. So much so. <laughs> I got two of them. So that's where we are now. How cute are these? Okay. Here we have some feathers. This is kind of like a boho theme. I love this elephant, which is why I got it. The elephant and the feathers, but mostly the elephant. Not a big fan of the dream catcher. If it didn't say boho in it, I'd be a lot happier with it, but I can always cover that up. Punch something out and put it on top of it. So it's not terrible. These hearts we've seen before. I picked up another set. I used the first one pick that up then we have this travel theme one it's kind of more like a summer theme one you have a surfboard an airplane sunglasses Polaroid you have a little flag or banner that says relax a little coconut drink a flamingo friend a nice cold soda pop <laughs> some luggage and a beach chair so that's pretty cool this one I love 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 reminds me so much of my little one with the um, high top canvas sneakers uh, the camera the headset right here um, and a little um, kind of bag beach bag so I thought I would use this to make a little birthday card for my little one who as I said will be turning 10 10 holy cow 10 Come August so we are in the process of planning that party um, I gotta admit this year's party is a little more difficult to plan it's in the past has been a lot easier um, because she was into like the bounce houses and more kidsy type stuff um, this year she's kind of all over the place on what she wants to do 
thinking maybe a pool party. I asked her if maybe she wanted to do a laser tag type party. She wasn't into that. Maybe an escape room type party. She wasn't into that. So she's kind of all over the place and I'm hoping she'll make up her mind soon because she's giving mommy a stroke. <laughs> she's not leaving me much time to craft anything if she decides to go with a theme um, that um, is not... She tends to pick obscure themes or even when she picks a popular one, I don't like to just go and get um, Party City type items that you know everybody gets. I like to make her things unique for her own party, but the girl is not giving me much time. So hopefully she'll make up her time, her her mind this week, so that I know what I'm doing. So also I wanted to explain this right here. You're going to be seeing. Unfortunately, you're going to be seeing this in uh, my videos for a little bit. I was recently diagnosed with an injury to my wrist um, and unfortunately it requires that I wear this brace more often than not at least until I can transition into an ace bandage which I'm hoping is soon. I can't even really bling it up and make it nice for my videos because I do have to wear it to work um, and as many of you know, and if you don't know, you're about to find out, I'm an attorney by day and I'm in court a lot. So I cannot <laughs> be walking into a courtroom with a blinged out, um, uh, wrist guard. Nah, it, it has to look really professional. So the best I can do for now is I made a little sticker to cover up, <laughs> to cover up the brand, the ugly brand that was going across this particular strap here so and i branded it with my own channel name right so if i have to wear something ugly like this i might as well get some use out of it i'll just promote my channel so this week is going to say happily ever after let's see what it'll say next week i might be inspired just to put a random quotes there every so often so that is my entire share my friends FYI, my gorgeous girls, just because challenge will launch next week. That is the week of the, let's see, 8, Monday's the 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, whatever next weekend is. This video is going to post on the 8th, right? So a week from now... I'm going to launch my gorgeous girls just because challenge. I want to take, I want to thank Betsy from Rebecca Creates who left a comment on one of my videos where I asked for suggestions or um, advice as to what theme or what kind of make and mail I should be I I should do this year, and she made um, a suggestion. She posted a suggestion which I'm totally going to take, embrace, and run with. It's going to be an embellishment, make and mail, meaning you're going to have to make an embellishment and send it to me. Um, the embellishments are going to be in pairs. So two embellishments get you one entry and each embellishment has to have several elements to it. At least two elements, I'm thinking, should be fair. Um... And I mean, because not to be rude, but I don't want anybody just to slap things together and send in mass for the entries. Um, I'd like to even the playing field this year, so to speak, um, in terms of entries per person so that no one person runs away with a massive number of entries. So it will be an embellishment um, make and mail. I am going to limit the size of each of the embellishments to make it even that much more challenging. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a size limit of two by two or three by three, meaning it can be no bigger than a three by three, um, or it can be no bigger than two by two. I haven't decided which one. Um, maybe you want to give me your opinion down below if it should be a two by two, no bigger than, or a three by three, no bigger than. And like I said, it'll be sets of two, meaning each set of two will get you one entry and each embellishment must have at least two elements to it. Um, if that makes sense. Okay. And I'll get more into that 
when I post the video. I'm also going to have some bonus projects for anyone who wants to get some bonus entries. One of the bonus projects for sure um, is going to be Chunky Charm because Lord knows I love my Chunky Charms. I know it's crazy. It's an obsession. But um, one of the bonus projects is going to be an embellishment. Um, not an embellishment. <sighs> A Chunky Charm, meaning if you do the Chunky Charm, you can get some extra entries. Um, the other bonus project might be birthday cards because I do get good use out of those birthday cards that you guys sent to me. I use them for my Girl Scout projects and a lot of our community service projects. And um, yeah, and of course a VR. If you do a VR, you'll get uh, an additional. So more details will basically be put out there next week. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching, my friends. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, this is your first time visiting me. If you like what you see, subscribe. Come back and visit me. I hope to see everyone again. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.